Tonight, the Crawford County Sheriff's Office faces another federal civil rights lawsuit involving claims of excessive force by a former deputy. Sheriff's Office fired Zach King for his involvement in that violent arrest of a man outside of Mulberry store last summer. He's now named in a lawsuit related to that incident and now two others. Five News reporter Katherine Gilker is in the newsroom with a closer look at those allegations. In total, three federal lawsuits have been filed against King since that video surfaced this summer. The latest suit filed this month also lists Crawford County, the sheriff, and the sheriff's office as defendants. Crawford County deputies were called to the home of Polly Reisenhoover in May 2021 to reports of someone who possibly had a gun. According to a lawsuit filed in federal court, deputies asked everyone to come out of the home, and they eventually did. Reisenhoover says she asked former deputy Zach King why they were at her home because she hadn't done anything wrong. At this point, um, I believe Deputy King was getting frustrated with her. Um, she had already been pat down. She had no weapons or contraband on her at this time. And uh, in that frustration, he ended up tackling her to the ground and putting her in handcuffs, even though no charges were ever pressed. Adam Rose is representing Reisenhoover. He says physical force simply wasn't necessary. I believe it was it's another example of this particular officer using force um, and not de-escalating in an unnecessary situation um, where no danger was posed to him or the other, other officers at all, yet force was still the first thing that was resorted to, and it just shouldn't have been in this scenario. There is no video of the incident. Rose says Deputy King kneed Reisenhoover in the back and twisted her arms behind her back, leaving her with multiple injuries. Deputy King alleges Reisenhoover attempted to slap him. And there was no marks on Officer King to substantiate that. Um, and again, even if she had, again, tackling her to the ground, um, when she was a 65-year-old woman who wasn't armed, it just was not the appropriate response. Rose represents another woman who claims King used excessive force during an altercation in June 2022. King and the sheriff's office are named in a third civil rights lawsuit filed by Randall Worcester, the man at the center of that violent arrest in Mulberry. I've reached out to the Crawford County Sheriff's Office and have not heard back. The attorney for Zach King says his client, quote, denies these absurd allegations and looks forward to the actual facts being presented. Katherine Gilker, 5 News.